Welcome back, the Autumn Blitz Season 3 Field Pass is officially here, and I'll be showing you guys what you should be doing right now throughout it. So, let me get straight into it. We have three Mythics, a free JJ Watt, and a bunch more. Earn Field Pass points through the Autumn Blitz specific goals and daily goals to progress through the milestones. Complete challenges on the Autumn Blitz journey for first win rewards. Trade players released during the Autumn Blitz for exclusive. 161 overall, Marvel, Micah Parsons. So we got Micah Parsons, we got Quinn Nelson and Vince Wilfork. Quinn Nelson is the field pass player. Vince Wilfork is the journey player. And Micah Parsons is the main man himself, which you need six iconics for. And then obviously, I think what, an epic or a couple of rares and stuff, a mythic badge as well. So yeah, collect equipment from each event during November. For that beautiful JJ Watt. So throughout the Fuel Pass, there is a collectible for him. And then throughout the two Thanksgiving promos of the month of November, there is also two other collectibles. So yeah, make sure you guys are grinding for the month of November so you can get your hands on all of these players. And also the Auto Blitz Fuel Pass does end on the 4th at 10.30 a.m. Eastern. So let's get into it. Play now. Here we go. We got the Fuel Pass itself. Our one mythic badge you get from the beginning plus the pack. I'll take it we got some coins some cash and then you know just got to keep on grinding my daily goals and then we'll move up it i'll go to the trade soon if you guys grind throughout the journey and you're at a certain overall which is 3430 you guys can get an epic player select pack if you're not at this overall just boost and then you guys will hit it to get this epic select which is nice because then you can put it towards an iconic obviously if your overall is not that high you will luck out of certain rewards like a lot of mana cash and the vince wolfork i'll be getting the vince wolfork stay tuned for that i'll be claiming him in another video which is nice i am going to obviously you know get his mythic version because it's easier this time around because there is a mythic for the journey player now which is amazing so i'll take that for sure and yeah love how the leaves are falling the art looks amazing and let's go ahead and claim our epic select player here we go i'm actually going to be getting probably larry fitzgerald i think that's my main player i want because i'm already going to get vince wolfwork out of the journey so i might as well go for the other iconic plus larry fitzgerald is a good wide receiver card so i'll definitely take him okay we lost three yards there all good oh hopefully it's good yeah yeah there we go there we go run 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 we got it yeah that should be enough right yeah okay perfect so here is our epic select pack i'll take it and i'll be getting the layer fitzgerald epic there he is layer fitzgerald and Tio is the other two that are not shown on the main screen which are other iconics throughout the field pass of november so if we scroll down there is iconics also for all of them obviously because you need the iconics to get the mythics so for larry fitz you need three of his epics and then a quinn and nelson and then a to and then for the other ones you need three of that and then two other ones that are provided so yeah i don't know who you guys want I know I want Vince Wilfork. I will be getting him out of the journey. And then my second player is Larry Fitzgerald, which is nice. I can get that. Plus for the mythic though, it says iconic player. Now here is a little like leak in a way, or like a hint at our next promo. It says that you can use feast players. So the next promo is feast once the Madden Harvest promo does end. So that's a little heads up. But yeah, you know, the more Thanksgiving content, the better, honestly. I like to see it. So make sure you guys go ahead and grind throughout your daily goals because that's going to be the main way to move up the fuel pass because of these fuel pass points that you guys need to get. You're really going to need 100 mana cash because you need to complete these six objectives. And obviously it says spend 100 mana cash for one of the objectives. You also get 95 fuel pass points for that objective. And then there is play arena. You know, you get fuel pass points for all of these, obviously. Once you complete these six, you will unlock the top, which gives you 400 fuel pass points, which is 
a lot and that helps you move throughout the fuel pass. So make sure you guys are doing that. Plus, there is a tab that says auto blitz. There's more stuff you guys can do. You can spend event stamina, regular stamina, go throughout your daily arena, watch through ads, and play three league versus league. You get a bunch of fuel pass points throughout that. To then move throughout the autumn blitz fuel pass to get all of the rewards that are provided. Obviously, it gets a little bit better when you keep on going through. You can get the auto blitz packs, which will help you a lot. And then just currencies in general that will help you throughout the game, which is always nice. The end goal is obviously the best because you will get your Gronk piece, a mana pack, more mana cash, a epic select, and an iconic player select. So yeah, make sure you guys are grinding so you don't miss out on those rewards. And if I go over to the trade, something you guys should be doing is the seven uncommons for two rares. Yes, it's seven specific uncommons, but it's not that bad bad because if you don't have one you can just go like oh i need a kicker or you can go over to here to your auto blitz objectives by grinding throughout the game you do your daily logging you spend that much of coins your arena brawler repeat that much uh yards league fighter on comic collector this top one is iconic collector so i would just you know claim all these do we get a kicker no, we didn't. Okay. If you don't get a specific uncommon you do need, you would just go over here and put players in here and then select your uncommon you need, which we actually haven't got the kicker yet. Wow. And then go over here, put it into there. When you do that, you spend one less uncommon, but still, you know, at least you're saving, you know? Well, yeah, make sure you guys do that. Get your rares. Then you put them into... Now, this is tricky because I don't advise random if you're going for an iconic you actually want. So, if you look at this, I'm setting the Lyra Fitzgerald as an example because maybe some of you guys do not want him. So, yeah, this is an example. Throughout the fuel pass, it's kind of hard because you, you know, really shouldn't do a random because when you do the iconic throughout a promo... You can do a random three times because you need three randoms. This right here, you need, what, five epics? Just five epics. No randoms. Like, you need a specific one each time. Obviously, your first time, you can do a random because it's just your first time. You had no epics to put in. But really, after that, you really don't want to take the risk. You should do the seven rares for the epic to select the player you want and you do have a month to do it so take your time be on top of it and uh, you guys will get your iconic sooner or later and obviously open up the plus packs that's gonna be a huge huge advantage because these packs will give you the uncommons the rares and epics throughout the autumn blitz fuel pits that you guys do need for the iconic so make sure you guys do that and that is it Hopefully you guys did enjoy, and that is your Autumn Blitz guide on what you should do right now, basically. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.